Howdy, howdy. We well, say, folks, it's Friday. Y'all put the work in. We put the work in. When the weekend comes, time to get fly with the honeys. Easy, easy, bubba. Easy, bubba. That could have been a mess. We got a little skater action on this one. Battery's gone and all that jazz. You want to cut the logo? Radiator? I mean, we can pull this one out the door, but who knows how much trash. I'll tell Mario. Mario, la porta. Uno adentro. Pretty sure we're working tomorrow. There's a pretty good list. Yeah, there's one down there on the end, but I ain't gonna pull that scooter out to eat it. They knew it was laying there when they put that scooter on it. I don't know, there's a pile of them laying back here where last time they crushed. I tell you, a lot of people don't give up on them aluminum radiators and you gotta clean them. They're worthless until you clean them, and then there's a lot of work. You got more trash, more scrap stuff to get rid of. Those plastic jugs and all that that's on the side. All right, I got a bed over here with some, looks like a couple dishwashers, or I'm sorry, wash machine and dryer. I was crushing over here one time, got real close over there by that RV, and I ran over a freaking uh, pry bar, one, you know, the ones that are, or crowbar, the ones that are bent, like a hook on the end. In Spanish, they call them pata de chivos, the leg of the lamb, or leg of the goat. I think chivo is goat. If you look at the foot, it kind of looks like a hoofed the flat part down on the on the crowbar looks like a hoof. That's how they explained it to me. We should wrap this up pretty quick. Pretty quick. It looks like I still need a few more cars though. They like to run six bundles out of here. That's the way I want it right there. I want that tailgate to go. In the middle, that way it don't flop open when I crush it. That's a stackable washer and dryer. Well, my dad sure did it right. He's got up there in, the, in his house, in the master bedroom, in the closet, they got a stack, stacked washer and dryer. So he don't got to take all this stuff downstairs and bring it back upstairs. Pretty cool. I thought it was really freaking player. Really freaking player. My dad's cool like that. Oh, I need to, I guess I can go ahead and toss that motorcycle in. Oh, we put it with something else. We'll get to it here in a minute. would have worked 
out better if I had spun it around, put the thick end down here, down here. I should have put it down there. Should have spun it around and put it down there. It'd be all right. It'll be all right. I got Buddy up, Muddy Feet TV. That's his little channel right there. It'd be awesome. You guys go over and check it out. Anyway, he's been out crappie fishing and he's sending me pictures. And I'm like, say, bro, like, when? When? He just, he just keeps sending pictures. <laughs> no, we're going we're gonna to put something together and see if we can't catch us some crappie. I haven't caught some crappie in a long time. God almighty, it's good eating fish. That fish I will keep. That fish I will keep. That's a good eating fish. And usually when you find them, that's the hard part. You locate them, once you find them and you get on top of them, God almighty, you can sit there and catch fish after fish after fish. It's fun, it's fun, fun, fun. And they got a real soft mouth. So you try to manhandle them, it's like you gotta set the hook. But if you try to manhandle them like a bass or a catfish, you'll pull the hook right out of their mouth. But one of their nicknames is Paper Mouse. So it's like a little extra, you know, challenge to it because you gotta land the fish but don't pull the hook out. And they're fun little fighters. God almighty, they're fun. Yeah, Jeff, come on, man. Let's do some collab out on the lake. I don't know why, but I don't take too many honeys fishing. It's like I don't. It's like I don't like my two worlds to mix. Like, like I got, like I got friends at my job, but I don't mix them with friends that I hang out with outside of work. You know, that's two different worlds. I like to keep my worlds apart. So, like when I'm getting fly with the honeys, we're getting fly with the honeys. When I'm fishing, I'm fishing. <laughs> I don't like my worlds to get mixed up like that. This we can um, throw this little white car up on top of the rag. O2 Nissan Sentra. I cheated, they got it written right there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there are some folks that get upset that I don't, I can't identify every car I pick up. And I have explained it so many times. I see this stuff totally different than y'all do. I'm not going to waste my brain space with something that I, for me, is useless information. To me, to me. And I think the audience enjoys trying to, you know, to figure out what some of this junk is. Anyway. I'm still gonna need some cars. All right, so this will be the next bundle. This will be my third bundle. Right there, a black car, white car, and that copper colored car. So, that'll be bundle three. And then, that'll be bundle number four. So that means I need six more cars. Let me go, let me go talk to the loader operator. Was that car done draining first? Let's see if this one's done draining. 
Looks like it is. Yeah, it's a little bit. I'm over here where um where my where my buddy Tio used to work. And I'd always swing in when I was over here and say hi to him. This first time I ain't ever been able to do that. Hang on, Mario, we'll do the double crush. It's Friday, why not? <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on, let's get this done. That stupid tailgate or trunk lid popped up on me. There we go. Uh oh, exhaust filter wants to clean. There you go, Mario. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. Well, the farmer's market should open up. I mean, it's about that time of year where the farmer markets open up. I should be able to find me some of that local honey. I gotta try that. I get them allergies, get the sneezing and itchy nose and all that crap. And, uh, Everyone's like, local honey, local honey. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Everyone do their part. Clean up, clean up. Come on, guys, let's start. <laughs> That's a little song we use in my house. I don't know what happened, but Cowboy Jr. starting to, you know, all them little kids do it, but they starting at I can't. Hey, man, time to pick up some of them toys. I can't. My legs are tired. What, man? Don't give me that junk. Hey man, it's time for you to brush your teeth. I can't. I'm tired, man. <laughs> you know how them little kids do that stuff. All right, I need to track down. I see the loader operator over there. I got a car draining. Looks like that's what they're doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell them. I see them putting cars together. I'll tell them I need like six more. Well, they got a lot of these cowboy cabs. I got a video crushing one of them. Uh, 
96 more. 96 more. All right. Golly. That box body's been picked over pretty good. A couple pieces left on it. Dang, we got cowboy cab. <clears throat> Ranger cab. Woo-wee, what's that? Look a G body right there. Gutted. I mean it's you can still sell the back halves. A lot of those, some of there's some there's some dirt track. <clears throat> Excuse me, God. There's some dirt track class. And all they can run is uh, G body back halves. I think the frame and the back half have to be factory, so to speak. And then the rest of it, you know, can be different parts. It doesn't have to be OEM, so to speak. Oh, I need to grab that motor motorcycle. I need to grab that motorcycle. Some Suzuki action. Outback Outlaw asked me how many motorcycles I've crushed. I would say about 200 over my seven years of crushing. I'd say about 200. I can pick the stupid thing up. Drop the hammer, or I can. I just need a few more cars. We got that rhythm going this morning. We got it going. Pop, pop, pop. That tank's empty. That's coming straight off the rack, going straight in the crusher. Oh, we're about Liberty. Here we go. Man, it's going good this Friday. It's going good. Uh -oh. and asking where my scraper is, the one that I, I welded up and put together. And somebody, somebody left it laying over here after they done tore it up. I had that thing for like a year and nothing broke on it. Somehow it got, somehow it got taken from the yard and used on another crew. Anyway, I gotta get it back to the shop. It's a pretty good scraper. I like it. Anyway, it's on the other side of this bundle. Alright, so he's got two more now. some old funky Dodge truck.
boys, slow down, get it going. There you go, do it right. Hang on, Mario, you got a door popping out. Mario's like, I ain't waiting on you, cowboy. You need to get on it. <laughs> Mario. That ain't gonna be good enough. It'll probably still pop open on me. should get it done right there. I should get it done. They don't like Jeeps at all. They don't like Jeeps at all. Damon from Laughter. <coughs> Excuse me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, but, hey, really on the Muddy Feet TV thing, I've been torturing that dude. <laughs> Y'all know I go fishing at lunch, and I, I, I'm kind of successful out there. <laughs> and uh, I send him pictures every, uh, almost every day, and like, man, somebody caught a bass at lunch, and somebody didn't. <laughs> and I really have been torturing him. It's the other way around. Um, he's bringing me two more. So, five. I need one more car and we're done. Maybe uno más? No. Tres. Tres, seis, that's it. That's it, Bubba. Thank you. I didn't see that little ranger pick up on the other side of that stupid Mustang. So we got all we need. We got all we need. Man, let's wrap this up. That'd be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's wrap this up. Ah, 
better go through the windows. Mustangs, them freaking gas tanks are so freaking hard to pop. So hard. Man, you'll hurt yourself. You'll hurt yourself. one look he's like no nah, I find a different place there's two there's three stupid Mustangs and a lot of them a lot of stupid Mustangs that the trunks are fiberglass the trunk lids fiberglass the hoods fiberglass all of it just turns into trash. Stupid Mustangs. Come on, Mario. That's not me slamming the throttle. I'm on um, the filter service. The filter, the exhaust filter is cleaning itself right now, so it stays at high idle. I'm idling at 1,200 RPM, so when I give it, it sounds like I'm just smashing it. But the machine wants to do what it wants to do. I could turn it off if I wanted to, but it's all right. All right. 
Looks like we got it. We'll be out of here shortly. Shortly, shortly. Next thing up should be that G. Save this Impala to go on top of that Dodge truck. Not the way I'd build a bundle, but this is all I got. If I knew I had that Dodge truck this morning, well, that very first bundle I made with the calves and the beds and all that, I'd have put that together with it. But it wasn't on hand. But it'd be all good. Hey folks, there's been a couple, um, and I super appreciate it, merchandise uh, orders. Miss Liz is on top of them. Um, she was actually waiting on me to provide a couple things, and uh, those orders will go out this weekend. They will go out this weekend. Thank you guys very much. Thank you so much. I can't explain it to you. Knowing there's somebody somewhere wearing my t-shirt, that's rock star. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. It's so cool. Let me hop down and pick up some of this trash. See what's going down. Wait on that thing to drain. Oh, where's my gloves? Ooh, it's got some nasty gas in it. Nasty, nasty gas. 